uh, we've seen several uh, uh, several initiatives. Whether it's uh, it's an offering like Bolts uh, doing swaps across those two chains, or PeerSwap that aims to essentially balance channels among uh, among peers. Both of these use uh, Liquid as a way to transfer value uh, in a high fee environment, sort of outside of the congested areas. And uh, the integrations go even further. Uh, a couple of years ago, we had uh, we we published a version of Core Lightning that has support for Liquid BTC, and even Liquid BTC is is, is still maintained to this day. And so, one could, for example, spin up a a an end user network inside of Liquid. Because opening channels in Liquid is isn't as expensive, and it takes it takes less time due to the shorter and more regular block in block rate, and and you could then sort of have have an on chain swap between Bitcoin mainnet and Liquid BTC. Unlike other initiatives, this kind of swap doesn't present uh, present any issues. Such as the uh, such as the uh, free option problem we have when swapping for for different assets, LBTC and BTC being per- perfectly interchangeable mean that a swap can go through just as if it were just on the same network. And as such, we can bridge the gaps between between these two networks and facilitate fast exchanges of values between these two networks. So I see I see most of these complementary systems slowly getting integrated with each other, be that Liquid, Lightning, PeerSwap, uh, other swapping technologies. And of course, the holy grail would be to, uh, to eventually have a uh, USD uh, denominated channel, and who knows? Maybe, maybe that will work eventually. <laughs>